Hello, and welcome to the ARC Automation Studio. I'm Chris Kinane, Research Director here at ARC. Today, we'll be discussing the supply chain planning market. Joining me is Steve Banker, Vice President of Supply Chain Services at ARC, and he's just completed a study on this topic. Thanks for joining me today, Steve. From what I understand, ARC has been doing this study for quite some time. Well, thank you, Chris. Yes, we have been doing this study for some time. This is the 15th year we've done it. And that means we have really good contacts in the industry and that we have really good historical data for forecasting and uh, understanding the trends going on in the, in the industry. Steve, could you define supply chain planning and the different market segments for us? Well, let's, let's start with what is supply chain planning. Um, supply chain planning basically allows companies to put together a better, a more audible supply chain plan. Uh, these are these are big data solutions, um, and then you you take this big data, you you apply fancy math to it, uh, and you come up with better pl plans across different planning horizons. So, for example, you might be wanting to to put together a plan of how best to schedule the factory today or for the coming week. Um, that would be known as an operational plan. In the one month to several months uh, period of planning, companies are often looking to balance um, uh, supply with demand. So th they come up with a forecast for demand. Uh, they see what uh, the market's demanding, and then they decide what should they make and what would lead to the best profits and um, uh in doing that. And then finally, there's strategic planning, where uh, which goes out from many months to, to several years. And there, with a strategic planning solution, you're looking at your network and you're asking the question, um, do I have the right supply chain network for the demand I think I am going to generate over the, the coming years? Would it would we uh, more profitable profitably be able to to meet demand with supply if our warehouses were in a different location if our factories were in a different location do we have the right supply chain policies should we be uh, fulfilling orders for this customer on a weekly basis or should we do it a couple times a week so that also is a very interesting solution. Um, the second part of your question was um, around the applications. So I talked about um, the strategic planning level. Um, there we have network design solutions that, that do that. Um, and in the extended supply chain planning court, uh, category, in addition to network design, you have integrated business planning solutions uh, and sort of the end-to-end -end, uh, analytics. Uh, integrated business planning is that, that solution that matches supply to demand uh, over the coming month or the next few months. Uh, then there's three other solutions. There's supply planning, uh, inventory optimization, and demand management. Uh, supply planning is looking at uh, what is the best way to, to schedule production in a factory or you might be looking across several factories and distribution centers and, and saying, um, what is the bet, where should we be making these products and which warehouses should they flow through on the way to customers? Inventory optimization are solutions uh, that take uh, demand plans and then they, they figure out where would it be uh, most profitable to put inventory uh, and still achieve our service levels? And how much inventory do we really need? How much safety stock do we really need? And finally, demand management solutions uh, forecast uh, how much we need to produce. And they forecast it at both a unit and a, a dollar level. Thanks for defining the supply chain planning market and what those different segments are. What benefits are users getting from supply chain planning solutions and what is driving the market? 
the second question you asked, Chris, is what's driving the market? Um, really, what's driving the market is just another way of saying what are customers getting out of supply chain planning solutions? So what they get out of it is proven ROI. They get assurance that they can meet their goals. And there's a lot of other supply chain initiatives that companies undertake um, with the goal of improving, improving their capabilities. Everything from being more responsive, a desire for uh, a digital supply, su uh, supply chain, the difficult, difficulty of hiring and retaining planners, uh, so segmented supply chain initiatives, um, the, the retail omni-channel um, initiatives of many companies are driving needs for better inventory optimization. So uh, you just look at this from the customer's point of view and uh, why are they buying, buying the solution? Those are the dynamics driving the market. And this market is a dynamic market. It's growing at double digit rates, which is high for enterprise application markets. This concludes our presentation on the supply chain planning market. Listeners who have any questions or would like additional information should contact the study author directly or reach out to a client manager here at ARC. Thanks for your attention and have a great day.